Previously on, Zakia loves Pinto. The eight ball, you never know what you're gonna get. What kind of feather? Zakia loves Pinto. I can make money appear. Call me Houdini. Well, you get the free refills at the movie theaters. That is what we're used to. Black Panther, so what you think, but she gonna she gonna let you know. I was I was a little disappointed. I was disappointed in that they didn't I feel like honor the first Black Panther. That Black Panther I could literally watch over and over again. Yeah. Because it was just so good. It literally Brought, like it brought us honor. It brought us like you know. I don't know what the, what the word is. I wanted for. it to be um, what I, I did like the first half, but, but I feel like after the first half, they kind of just didn't fill it with more um, more storyline for me. So I wanted it to be a little bit more like a little bit what was happening in the first movie. Yeah. And then it was almost like the the little mermaid people kind of appeared out of nowhere. But I thought they were beautiful. So I like yeah. the introduction. I just wanted to just see more storyline and the connection making more the sense. The first movie, but, everything connected together. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was a lot of like filling spaces. Well, it, it, it reminded me of a pandemic movie. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, literally, because the pandemic, <laughs> well, you, know, uh, you know movies that's made in the pandemic era. Because yeah, that, those motherfuckers was made there. quick. The they was, was just put yeah. together. Yeah, you feel like there's rush. We got a lot of pandemic movies, man. Yeah, it I just, think that, it, that shouldn't have been one. Um, it, it did seem like maybe not rush, but it seemed like it wasn't as much passion. Yeah, it wasn't. As it much felt passion. like Marvel, which is fine because I mean, it's a Marvel to be movie. A spoiler, but when Angela Bassett died, I was like, well, where, where did that come from? Right. I didn't think that when she was gonna save her that that was gonna be the end of her story. I feel like she had more yeah. guidance for her daughter. She had more yeah. wisdom to share with her daughter. I feel like the only reason that they did that. that is because they feel like death sometimes is what like- It, it just happens. To, yeah. to um, no, just, not just what just happens, oh, but okay. what, they, what you the need to, to like, not, yes, to push the story along, but also to like create this emotion when we could have still had that, that emotion without her dying. Like it was just, <sighs> yeah, but um, I'm um, gonna uh, on a one to ten. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh, you're sweet. Six. I was giving. I was just about <laughs> to say gonna give it a I'm six. Gonna give five it a or a six. Okay, man. Yeah, well that's fair. Cause yeah. I feel like the movie was rushed. Like, like secretly, it was rushed. Like it, like I said, they didn't take their time in that movie. Yeah. They just, oh, let's do this. Oh, oh, let's make this action. Yeah. Let's on um, the fish uh, man gonna come out and do this. Yeah. I'm like, and what? then, oh my god, and then the end where they're standing on top of the ship, and it's six of them. It's only six Wakan uh, Wakandan people left. And they're all like this, and then it's like a hundred merman people, and you, they're pushing them off the boat, and then all of a sudden, da -da -da, like, come on! Come on! All them hundred merman people could have pushed their ass right on off the boat. Stop playing with me. As you can see, I'm I'm very passionate about movies. I've always been like that. Like I love watching movies. And as an actress, you know, as a writer, just as a creator, a creative, I probably critique things a little bit harder than I should, you know? But it's just who I am because I see the things that other people don't see, you know? I look for the mistakes when I'm watching something sometimes. Like I look and I, you know, I'm just very passionate about it. I love watching movies, so I see the storyline, I see the vision, and I see where they could have made it better. And just who I am. Baby hated it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the moral of the story. And you gotta do better next time, Marvel.
finally <laughs> about to put up the Christmas tree. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup. So you know y'all see me looking fresh and clean. I'm really happy that we're about to put the Christmas tree up because I've been wanting to put the Christmas tree up for so long. I actually wanted the Christmas tree up the day after Thanksgiving, but I've never been that girl. I always put the Christmas tree up the day before Christmas. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to get my Christmas tree up early. Like the day of Thanksgiving, I want to put it up with the family because it's like, these vibes, these holiday vibes, it's love, it's peace, it's joy, it's all in the air, and just this beautiful energy of family. It's a perfect day to put the Christmas tree up, but I never get to put it up on that day. I don't know why it's always the day before Christmas, or like a few days before Christmas. I'm thinking it's probably because of the relationships that I've been in. My partners really weren't into the holidays. They weren't into Christmas, they weren't very festive. Um, and so I think that that probably affected me getting my, getting into the holiday spirit earlier. Now, happily, baby, Pinto loves Christmas. It's her favorite holiday. And she has such a holiday spirit. The only thing, the reason we couldn't get it up early is because we've just been creating content. We've just been so busy, but at least we got it up two weeks before Christmas. So we are able to enjoy it a little bit longer, um, than I'm used to. So it's good. Next year, we're gonna have our tree up the day of Thanksgiving. Isn't that horrible? But then I'll leave it up until, uh, until like right after Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm happy that we're getting it up a bit earlier than that. And we'll be able to enjoy it and, you know, listen to Christmas music, like the YouTube fireplace, you know, like do all those fun things. So I'm really, really excited. Fireplace. You're looking at it. <laughs> so the YouTube fireplace, literally you go to YouTube, you type in fireplace, and they have many different variations of time frames that you can have a fireplace with sound on your TV. It really gets the holiday spirit, you know, the warmth in the room, even though you don't have a real fireplace. So I've always used this because my places in California have never had fireplaces. So it's my makeshift fireplace. So I'm ready. I'm ready to get into the holiday spirit. It's something about not having the Christmas tree up yet. It doesn't really feel like the holiday. Yeah, they they built this. Like this. You must be an asshole about it. This is how we create generational wealth. We gamble? We're going to do it in November. We're going to do it in November. <laughs> I am. Stop it. Probably critique. Blah. <laughs>